Is it a bird? Yeah. Yes, that's a bird. So we've got a bunny, a bird, and what is that? It's got a little boat, goat key on it, a little bird. <gasps> goat. It is a goat. Very good. Now, look at their tails. Which one has the longest tail? Alexander is a very fun five-year-old with lots of energy. He needs to be alive. He is my wild and crazy full of energy kid. They went to the store. With me. At first glance, you wouldn't think Alexander Gallardo is battling cancer. Is that the picture? It's beautiful. Yeah. But there are signs. The yawns, the snacks, the drinks. I'd like you to take a drink because we not need to keep hydrated. You might get away to Hmm, let's look. It's got a G on it. G, G. What do you think it is? G, G, get away. I think it is. While undergoing treatment, Alexander can't be in a typical school. Oh, you listen so closely. Good job, Alexander. You have a good sense That's where Miss Virginia her. comes in. She oversees Banner Children's Hospital School at Cardin Children's Medical Center. When Alexander is getting chemotherapy, Miss Virginia takes her lessons bedside. When he's not hospitalized, Alexander comes to the school twice a week. Finding the right fit for a child that is dealing with a medical issue in the educational environment is so important because we want everyone to learn and to develop to their full potential and to be happy in their life in the future and have opportunities. Miss Virginia, what color do you like? Yeah, absolutely loves Miss Virginia. And Alexander's mom loves the school. And we're really thankful for the opportunity that we've had here at Banner Cardins and the school system that they had. Well, I can print out worksheets at home and I can you know, do my best to teach him and prepare him for what he needs for, you know, the upcoming years of school. You know, it's really helpful that he's able to bond with such, you know, a nice, unique teacher. Since the hospital school opened in 2013, Miss Virginia and her team have taught more than 700 children. The schools run solely on donations and the passion of volunteers like retired teacher Barbara Fisher. When you think of kids, and with all the kids I work with, they just want to be like everyone else. And I think even for a four-year-old, you know, if they see friends or relatives or whatever, those kids are in preschool, those kids are learning, and they need to do the same thing. And in the long run, it'll really be helpful. What would a dog do if he found a bunny? Uh, it would chase it. In a few months, Alexander will leave the hospital school to join his kindergarten class. Very good job. Miss Virginia will be there on the first day to help Alexander's classmates understand his medical condition. They will become aware that he has a port in his chest and that it's important that he not be hit in the chest and that we don't push and shove. It empowers the kids to be really good friends, to show empathy. We all It's a lesson they never tire of teaching. It's kind of hard, but I bet we can do it. But I bet we can do it.